Hello and welcome to this update video on the SAS extension for Visual Studio Code version 1.6. Let us take a quick look at all the new features that have been added in this release. First up are three new UI languages that have been added. These are Japanese, French and Italian, joining English, Simple Chinese, Brazilian Portuguese, German and Korean. For other updates, you can now easily close your session when you go on to have to click on the profile and then select close session from there. We will be talking at the end about the new IOM based profile that you can now add for SAS 9.4. But let us first take a look at new capabilities when you are coding. First up is the ability that if you are inside of a cell, you can now also minimize folding blocks of code recursively so that you can manage how the code looks like while you are interacting with it. That's a pretty neat feature and really helps you when you have larger blocks of code that you need to navigate. Next up is the ability that has been improved when it comes to the signature help when you are working with a SAS function. So let us replicate this. We are going to select the translate function. And now you can see we are currently at the source argument for this function. And as we fill this out and move to the next, you can see how the highlight moves along this and also shows only the relevant part of the help section that you need in order to fill out this function. That's a super neat feature, especially if you're working with functions that you're not too familiar about. If we're looking down here, it has now also always an add-on to say ODS graphics on in the section for the code wrapper. So that will help you to more dynamically work with actual results that you have created. Speaking of which, if we are opening up an normal SAS file and we submit that, we can now get the ability to download the results that are generated directly from this menu. So you can just hit download and download it to your local file system as an HTML file, which is quite nice. Talking about downloads, you can now also directly download content from SAS content uh, previously, you could, of course, upload files and folders. Now you can also download content from here, put it into the right folder where you need it. There you go. Now, let's talk about the headline feature. This is a new type of profile that has been added with the Visual, Code, Visual Studio Code extension. Now, if we go to Control Shift P or go through the Go um, template, you can add a new connection profile, give it a name, example. And now, in addition to being able to selecting SAS via, SAS 9.4 remote SSH and SAS 9.4 local, you can now also add a remote IOM based connection. Note, in order to be able to use this, you need to have SAS integration technology client installed on your local machine where VS Code is running. You can download it from the link in the description. Now, you enter the name of your SAS 9 server, you fill out the port information. If you are unsure, I have put the default port here in the descriptions 8591, but it might be changed on your environment, so please talk to your SAS administrator, and then you can sign in using your username and password credentials. Let me quickly switch over to a profile I have pre-created a SAS 9.4 IOM profile. And when we go to submit the same code as we did before, you can see it's connecting to a SAS session for me. So establishing a session on the SAS 9.4 server. And now you can see it's prompting me to actually enter a password. So let me do that. And now the connection is generated using the IOM service and my result comes back as expected. That's it for the 1.6 update. A lot of nice convenience features that will help you in your everyday coding needs. See you next time. Bye bye.